Reacting to the arrest of the suspended CBN governor, Mr. Gaduna Mefele, some Benin's residents were of the opinion that the action is a move by President Tinubu to sanitize the system. An educationist, Dr. Marcel Lukaku, said the travails faced by Mr. Mefele may be due to his alleged involvement in partisan politics. As a sitting governor of the central bank, you can't be in office, particularly at that level, and also want to be president, one has to give way because they are intertwined in terms of operational logistics. So you can say that uh, a number of things may have truly been responsible for easing him out and for taking him in for questioning and interrogation. It is a welcome development that uh, the president and commander in chief, uh, Senator Ahmed Tinubu, has uh, commenced work by suspending the CBN governor, uh, I think is uh, a good stroke in the right direction. We want the country to be sanitized and uh, we want to ensure that uh, it's corruption free. If he is arresting him on the basis of Naira redesign, to me, I don't, it's very wrong because in law, you don't persecute the agent, you persecute the principal because he was reporting to the president, Commander-in-Chief Buhari. A legal practitioner, Barrister Agboma Doloji Usayomabo, who though said due process should be followed on conclusion of investigation, pointed out that anyone can be invited for interrogation over allegations bothering on crucial issues. A MFLA was given a professional assignment. He was expected to perform professionally. His arrest and interrogation is at the discretion of the police. So whatever is their findings, we determine whether he should be prosecuted. Nobody is above invitation by the police, the DSS. Favor Usaro, ITV News.